hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll provide you for cinematic tone and the preset i made it for you guys a little bit earlier and let's jump into the tutorial hope that all are fine and safe at the home and don't go outside just maintain the all hygienic rules from the who so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification so this image this one so i just got this image from the unsplash.com and press ctrl or command j you will get another copy of this layer and then go to the filter and camera filter camera filter is a plugin of the photoshop if you want to get the download link in your cs version please check out my video description and if you are the user of the cc version you are getting this one by default in your photoshop version here is the load settings options and here you can just uh, cinematic 4 i'll input that things and load it up you'll get this type of effects in this photo if you need you can change up all the things suppose i want to change it up like that or like that so you can do that that means you have that assumption to change the all stuffs like exposure contrast highlights shadow white splags and all the stuffs and i made here the temperature minus 3 and contrast plus 15 highlight minus 38 shadow plus 48 and whites plus 3 and blacks minus 9 and texture plus 9 clarity plus 2 and vibrance that is minus or plus 9 here the tone curve i made the rgb tone curve like that and here a red tone curve i made it locked up here the input value is 2 to 5 and output value 2 for 1 and here i locked it up input value is 10 output value is 0 and after that green tone curve i made the tone curve like that the input value 13 output value 0 and upper side you are getting 2 to 5 to 55 actually and 254 for the output value here as well 124 and 129 and then blue tone curve i got the point over here input value 14 and output value that is 12 that's good let's jump into the split toning here the highlight color and the shadow color you are getting the color like code which is a 239 uh, from the color belt of the hue and the saturation 12 and the shadow color that is 330 and you are getting the saturation that is 16 and hsl hue saturation luminance only i change the saturation from here the red saturation 25 orange minus 21 and green minus 18 aqua minus 11 and blue 10 uh, minus 10 actually and the rest of the thing is zero from here i got two things detail and sharpening so sharpening and noise reduction here the 39 for the sharpening and noise reduction plus 23 from the effects two portion green no green over here the plus crop vignetting that is minus 17 and camera calibration i got the primary of the red color that is plus 3 and saturation minus 14 green primary plus 28 and blue primary minus 19 and saturation 6 and hit the ok button you are getting these things uh, free of cost i'll provide you the preset in my video description and number 4 i just uh, turn it on and let's go to the number 3 opening the image so here is my image actually if i go to the home and this one press ctrl or command j for the new copy of this layer and i'll go to the filter again and camera filter if you need you can add another filters from here and you have that assumption to change your settings over here here the load settings options number two preset if i insert that yeah number two is like that before one was like that and after one you are getting like that so here contrast plus 12 and highlight minus 38 shadow plus 48 and the whites plus 3 and blacks minus 9 here the contrast plus 20 plus 12 and here exposure i didn't touch the exposure from the temperature i made the temperature plus 2 for the warm tone and vibrance plus 21 and saturation plus 3 and tone curve i made the same tone curve like before uh, except the blue tone curve blue tone curve i changed it like that and the green tone curve i changed like that and the red tone curve as well i made it like this so red tone curve 255 and the output value 240 that's it and uh, sharpening 39 and uh, 
for the noise reduction HSL panel saturation I made the saturation as well uh, that means that as it is the before and the 258 split toning I changed it and the saturation 12 the shadow 330 and the saturation 16 and the rest of the thing is same as the before and hit the ok button so this one in another like preset before and after and now go to the open options now I'll open up or I'll import the photo this one press ctrl or command J and go to the filter camera filter this one was the number one so I'm importing the number one okay the before one was like that and after one you're getting like this so what I have done over here let's see the temperature 5 contrast plus 7 and the highlight minus 38 shadow plus 48 whites plus 3 and black minus 9 texture plus 9 clarity plus 2 for the skin clarity and texture I made the value up just because of if I increase the texture the t-shirts uh, texture will be appear and it will be more prominent and the realistic vibrance that is 21 and saturation plus 3 and tone curve like that the same as the before I didn't change that except the split toning split toning I changed the value that is 98 and the saturation plus 12 and the shadow color I change it uh, plus like a 330 that is the color if I change it out it will be more like that so you can change it out if you need you can change it out so you have that assumption to change it out and after getting the preset you can do just a uh, like change over there the saturation plus 12 and here the grain I didn't touch the grain I added some push crop vignetting which is like a, that and elibration that is plus 18 for the red primary and saturation 14 and green primary like that and uh, hue minus 13 and hit ok so you are getting 3 and now number 4 which one was the number 4 so we discussed this one and we didn't discuss this one so let's discuss this one so after that make a copy by pressing controller command J filter and camera filter from here go to the load settings options and number Three, this one was number three you are getting the settings like that so in this photo before one was a, like a grain or other stuff so I changed the grain portion from the detail and here before photo, yeah luminance detail here 76 and 50 and the color was like that 40 and color detail 61 that's why this one is smooth before and plus 26 for the luminance and the uh, low luminance that is uh, minus 2 so this one is the changes and here is some changes from the saturation that is the orange saturation minus 33 green saturation minus 18 aqua minus 11 and the blue that is minus 10 and the hue I didn't touch the hue uh, rest of the thing are same before like uh, here is some changes in a split toning 98 12 and 303 three, three, or 330 three, and the saturation 12 and here uh, vignetting is same and all the thing are same and hit the ok button so you are getting those type of preset or cinematic preset in my video description please check out my video description for the download link and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and stay at home stay safe and uh, be safe from the coronavirus and keep me in your prayers as well until the next video i am in signing out today bye bye